Hello everybody and welcome back to Sprocket. Today we're going to be designing a little light tank with an oscillating turret. Now, it wasn't necessarily meant to resemble an AMX-13, but uh, it's kind of inevitable uh, when you're designing something with an oscillated turret that it, it, it's going to look a little bit like a tank with an oscillating turret. And when looking for inspiration, there really isn't a lot else out there. So. It, it really does just look like an AMX-13. There's a couple of differences here and there, but frankly, you wouldn't notice them uh, unless you looked really, really closely. Um, so maybe in the future when I'm a little bit more confident with designing oscillated, oscillating turrets, then uh, I can give a go at actually designing something original. But for now, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much just a replica, but not very good. Um, <laughs> So uh, it's not a replica, obviously, because if it was a replica, it would be bad. Um, obviously, it's just taking inspiration. So I've never done this whole oscillating turret thing before. I, you know, I knew how to do it because I used the same method of like building the turret, which is like putting a main turret on and then putting a turret sideways on that turret. Uh, I, kn I knew that from when I built my um, tank destroyer with the big old gun on the Mark II chassis uh, quite a while ago. So I was, I, I knew where I was going, but I didn't know uh, how to make it look good. Um, so originally I, I set out and I was like, I'll do my own thing here. And eventually I, I gave up and I was just basically staring at an AMX-13, like, how do you look good with this? Um, also, you can see here, I, I've, I've put the top part of the turret on. Um, and that was my biggest mistake in this whole thing. Getting that thing to actually work with the like movement controls was such a pain. Um, I should have just done it on a vertical turret, like a normal turret, and I knew I should have done it on a normal turret because I, I know the pain of building sideways, and yet I still didn't do it. Um, so that's on me, frankly. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it worked out in the end. We, we, we built a tank. Uh, here the turret is actually starting to take shape, um, but you know, I've really not done much to the hull, so yeah, uh, I've got to actually start thinking about how to decorate this thing so it doesn't look quite so much like a, a clay mock-up of a tank rather than an actual tank. Um, but yeah, I mean, just about now you can start seeing it really taking shape and, and, and go like, ah, I see what's happening here, whereas before it looked a little bit like a cup with an egg in it. Um, <laughs> that was the turret assembly. Um, but ultimately, you know, as much trouble as I went through for this, which is obviously, you, you can't really tell, it's compressed down into three minutes. I look very competent when I'm sped up by 700 times. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it was it was a little bit scuffed. Um, so hopefully, if I do this again, yeah, fingers crossed I, I, I do a better job. Uh, yeah, wow. Um, there's not a lot to talk about with this tank, to be honest. It's pretty much... Uh, you know, exactly what you'd expect from uh, the tin. It's a very small, light thing. Um, I think the thickest armor it has is 40 millimeters, and that's on, like, the front of the hull, which might be a bit thick, to be honest, but I figured that it would be nice to just have, um, just in case, and I think that did actually pay off, uh, and you'll you'll see why later. Um, but yeah, all of that combined means it... it, it just over 10 tons. I think it's like 10 and a half, roughly. Um, and yeah, I mean, th this is it, basically. Okay, so here we have what is definitely not an AMX-13. Um, yeah, I mean, it's quite clear where the inspiration came from for this one. Um, now, I've never done this before. <laughs> I, I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot and uh, didn't really know what I was getting myself into. Um, quick tutorial uh, for anybody who would like to do this in the future. Uh, do do the do the whole turret shape when it's vertical. I did most of this sideways and it was awful. Uh, it's just painful. Don't do it. Um, I, was, I knew not to do it, but I still did it anyway. Um, don't. <laughs> that was so awful. Okie dokie. So uh, there's only five light tanks this time, which is less than they normally are, which is a little bit concerning, but that's fine. Uh, we have a 75 millimeter gun, just like the AMX-13 in real life, um, which 
yeah, 152 millimeters of penetration isn't stellar, but it does the job. Um, yeah, there we go. We may want APHE for this. Uh, there's no APHE in the turret, only in the hull, because I didn't bring too many, because um, obviously not the most penetration, uh, and if we're fighting anything with any armor, uh, we're going to want AP, basically, um, because I think this gun only goes up to about 140, 150 millimeters of penetration. Um, and this is using late war tech, I'm pretty sure. Even though we're in a mid war mission, I think we're using late war tech. Uh, so, yeah. Mm, APAG useful against these ones, probably not going to be too useful against the tigers, although, you know, they're. <laughs> He's just sniped a tiger from halfway across the map, so that's helpful. Uh, and somehow we survived that little bit there with all 12 of our tanks remaining, which is quite impressive, to be honest. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've, I've got I've barely got to the hill, and oh my god, there's only one left. <laughs> We're not even going to get not even gonna get a chance to shoot at one at this rate. There he is. Uh, let's see if we can have our own. No, we can't. Okay, we've... Um, yeah, I mean, that went through. Uh, another one? Okay, that one didn't go through. Uh, another one. Oh, I'm good at this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so, uh, fingers crossed, we should get a little bit more tension in this battle. Uh, we are outnumbered, which is quite a surprise, given how light this thing is. I think it's just over 10 tons. Um... The enemy can have IS-122s. Oh, no, sorry, we're not outnumbered. We do outnumber them. I'm... How did I even do that? You wouldn't think I've <laughs> been doing this for, like, over a year now, would you? Um, okay, yeah, we have one more tank. Well, now two more tanks than them, because we've already killed one. Uh, yeah, IS-122s are something to look out for. I'm going a little bit crazy here, but... Um, yeah, we have no armor, and not the craziest amount of penetration in the world, so... I mean, the side of the turret of a salamander is always going to be an easy shot. Um, but yeah, even the side of an IS-122 is going to be a little bit tough, I say, just blowing one clean, <laughs> clean apart. Um, yeah, someone told me about that weak spot on the IS-122 above the um, front of the tracks, and, and ever since then, they've been a lot less terrifying to me. Uh, <laughs> which is... It, it's handy. Um, and I, to be honest, I mean, one of the best things about this little tank is... Um, and one of the best things about oscillating turrets in general is uh, the gun handling on these things is great. Because you can have a lot more powerful of a turret drive than you can, like, a vertical cannon drive. Just get the gun stopped and aimed a lot quicker. It's nice. Okie dokie. We have a friend down there. And when I say a friend, uh, I mean an IS-122. Um, mm, I'm going to want to shoot him there. They still can't raise their turret cannons very well. Um, no, no luck. <laughs> One of these days it's going to go through. I mean, it's going, going through, but um, we'll just uh, keep doing this, I guess. Okay, maybe we should actually try... <laughs> And change up. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now, where's this last guy? Uh, does it matter? We don't even need to kill him. We can just go this way. We just go this way. We win. Uh, just gotta... Yep. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. This mission could be... Um, well, it could either be a cakewalk, because there's 17 of us... Or it could be very difficult if my AI do a really bad job and I have to kill six tanks on my own. Uh, the reason my AI might do a bad job is they, they aren't going to move. Uh, that is, you know, the main advantage of this tank. Uh, it's definitely not the gun that's the main advantage. The gun is, you know, average at best. Uh, so, yeah, it could be interesting. Uh, either that, or I'm not going to be able to get any kills, because the enemy is going to get absolutely hammered by 17 AMX-13s almost instantly. Uh, and there already goes an AMX-158. There's another one there for me. Oh, I'm, I've lost it. Okay, we'll just shoot that instead. Ooh, pop this turret clean off. Uh, that's another dead AMX-138. Is that one... Alive? I think it is. That was a terrible shot. Um, 
That's a bit better. There we go. Uh, what about behind us? There's one over there. Let's see if we can pop that one. Nope. That was a bad shot as well. Okay, someone else got him. Um, and there's one man left. Oh, it's the Centurion that's right there. And I'm probably the person in the best spot to kill it. I was. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Let's, um... Now, th th so, yeah, this hasn't been a lot of content, so the railroad scenario is a little bit broken because the tanks are bugged out and they're too easy. So, we're going to grab another user-suggested Cold War tank in a custom battle and see if we can beat it with this thing. Could be a little bit challenging, <laughs> maybe. Uh, okay, so, um... Oh, the custom battles are still doing it. Let's hope the enemy tanks work. Uh, so one of my tanks isn't going to have a functional turret. Uh, I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem, given I have 12. Um, so there's two enemy tanks here, and the design is the T-55A Razorback. And I will put the person who designed it on the screen uh, so you can you know, give kudos to them. And oh my god, there's one now. Uh... <laughs> yeah, okay, that was a little bit, um... A little bit of a uh, brown pants moment, but it's okay, we got it. And then is that one broken? No, it looked like it was working. Um... Yeah, maybe... <laughs> maybe 12 on 2 was a little bit too many. Let's halve the amount of these we get. Okay, I've done a little bit more than halving. Um, we have four. So, we have reduced the amount of tanks we have by two-thirds. And this could be a little bit more of a challenge. We ain't gonna go through the front of that thing. Let's not even entertain that. Let's just duck back down into the dunes. <laughs> um, what we're waiting for is a good side shot, which I think we actually have at the moment. I've just got to get myself into a position quickly enough that it's not going to be able to get me, and it's gone below the dunes itself. There we go. Now it's gone back up. Ah, we hit, I think, the f side of the front mantlet, so a lot thicker than if we'd hit the side of the turret regularly. Hello, friend. Are you the one without a functional turret? Maybe you are. Um, okay, right. He's clearly not going to come up the hill again. We're going to have to do the work ourselves. There's the guy with the broken turret. Annoyingly, he's still alive, so that leaves us with essentially two functional tanks. <laughs> Luckily, they only have the one. Um, right. Okay. I don't know what my AI are doing. They Okay, they're stuck on each other, so it's... For all intents and purposes, this is one-on-one -on -one right now, but I do have a couple chances if I get into trouble. I don't know why this AI doesn't like moving. Seems like custom battles are a little bit scuffed at the moment. Yeah, okay. Um... Don't think this is a hugely fair comparison of tank performance, but, um... I mean, I can be proud of this thing doing as well as it has. The gun is a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Let's uh, grab another tank and see if uh, we do a little bit... I, I, I hate to say do a little bit worse, but... Um, I mean, that's what you want, isn't it? Seeing these things blow up. And last but not least, uh, I have got in a replica of a T-55A. So, it's the right kind of era. Um, and this thing, I mean, it, there's... There's so many nodes on this tank that when I load it into Sandbox, uh, because I need to load them into Sandbox before I can get them in custom battles, um, my computer has a small hiccup while loading it in. It's smooth once you get going, but uh, it just takes a second, so that's fun. Um, but okay, yeah, they do detonate when we shoot them in the side. Also, my tank's called the autosave, which is obviously fun. Oh gosh, they also have functioning machine guns. Um, that wouldn't normally be something to be scared of, if we weren't in a tank with, like, 15 millimeters of armor. Um, okay, one of my tanks is running away. Clearly he saw the machine gun too. Uh, oh my. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that machine gun just killed one of our tanks as well. Uh, don't kill me, please. Ooh, there we go. Yep, that got him. Uh, and that leaves just the one. And, I mean, I hate to say it. I imagine it's the one that can't move. 
Um, <laughs> it's probably going to be where it spawned. But that's, uh, that's fine. It could still kill us, I guess. Uh, it's in engaging video content, right? <laughs> oh, this is going to be a big jump. Yep. <laughs> All the crew have headaches. And probably concussions. Um... Well, I've, I've pretty much covered everywhere, um, and there's there's no T55s, so I'm not sure what's happened there, but it's either not spawned in or it's below the map or something, um, cause it 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 ain't here, uh, so on this very inclusive uh, inconclusive note. We will uh, call it here, and um, yo, oh, look at this. I I do love <laughs> that this thing just jumps over the dunes. It is it is quite fun to just whip around in because it weighs just so little. Um, but yeah, okay. Hang on, is no no is that? Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh my gosh, there it is. After all this time, <laughs> I've seen. Okay, right. Well, maybe I gave up just a little bit too soon. Um, right. Yeah. Um, hi, friend. Yeah, so without any further ado, uh, we're going to call it there. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, um, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe to the channel. Uh, and I will see you in the future. Goodbye! And a huge thank you, as always, to my patrons. We have Rivera, Tree Loving Mango, Cam Jam 135, Sad Cat, DJ Pete, Yoki 003, Caligo Drake, and Arul Bolstocken. Thank you very much for supporting the channel.